do to these men? They were completely out of their heads. Ancestors. Hold up. I know this man. He's Bartrand Stewart. Hugin, what happened here? Varric, your brother. That statue he brought out of the deep roads. Bartrand said it sang to him, even after he sold it. I've been hiding in here, but the guards, they're like crazed animals. I didn't dare go past them. Everyone in this house has gone mad. I'll find Bartrand and put an end to this. Thank you. Maybe there's no one left alive in there. But if there is, grant them a quick end. Bartrand took the servants and locked himself inside the study. No one's come out for days. And those sodding lunatics just keep prowling the halls. 
Then we go in after him. Come on, Hawk. Let's finish this. sold the idol of that woman. It was a mistake. A mistake. Partrand, get a hold of yourself. Do you know where you are? Do you know what you've done? Berg, you'll help me, won't you, little brother? Help me find it again. You were always a good one. Help you, Bartrand. You left me to die. You left all your men to die. And for what? Some trinket? Look at yourself. Look at what you've done to the men and women who served you. Where's your nobility, brother? Where's your dwarven honor? This doesn't feel natural. If he wasn't a dwarf, I'd think a demon did this. His mind has been... poisoned by something powerful. That's all I can do. It won't last, I'm sorry. Varric? I'm here. Varric? What have I done? I don't know. I honestly don't know. I can stop, little brother. Don't let me... Don't let House Catalyst fall like this. I know. I don't deserve it. But please, Varric, don't leave me like this. Make it stop! Enough with the speeches. I'll get you to a healer, and you'll be fine. Varric, he's not going to be fine. You know that. I can't do it, Hawk. I thought I could. I thought he'd be gloating. Lying on a bed of gold and commissioning painters to memorialize the instant he sealed us into the deep roads. But look at him. Whatever that idol was, it did worse to him than I ever could. You heard Anders. He's possessed. As long as he lives, he's a threat to everyone around him. Goodbye, brother. Come on. I don't want to look at this place anymore. Something on your mind, Varric. I should thank you for your help with my brother. He was a jackass, and he tried to kill us, but... That was still the hardest thing I've ever done. I don't know. Maybe I could have found help for him. Bartrand didn't leave you any choice. You had to kill him. I suppose it's a little late to worry now. 
I don't know if surface dwarves go back to the stone or hang around singing hymns with Andraste or what. I just hope wherever he is now, Bartrand stays out of trouble. If you're worried about it, we could ask one of the priests to pray for him. I'm pretty sure any decent priest who prays for Bartrand would burst into flames. Anyway, thank you. I'll keep looking into who bought that blighted statue. At the very least, they need to be warned about what happened. Did you hear what Lord Barry said? Kirkwood is good. You! This is your fault! You and that blighter, Varric Tethras! What did I do? You'll be the end of my boys! Keep on insulting me and my friends, and you'll lose that wagging tongue, little man. Typical. Exactly the boneheaded bravado they're drawn to. My sons are lost in the deep roads because of stories about you. Your sodding glory and treasure. Don't you dare blame him. We both know this was Iwan's doing. If you want to keep your job, shut your mouth, woman. Your boys are grown men. It was their own decision. Your boys don't sound bright enough to follow a map. I'm sure they didn't get too far. My boys aren't stupid. Foolhardy, maybe, but not stupid. You're the only one who knows where they went. They were following the path of your expedition. Please help me find them. Don't let my boys die down there. I'll do everything in my power to bring your sons home. I should approve, but it seems like I save a lot of fools from themselves. Thank you, Masser. Those boys are my life. They entered the deep roads using the same passage you did. Please find them. I will see you rewarded for your efforts. See you, Captain. So you're taking the Captain of the Guard to accuse the Grand Cleric of funding zealots? It's a careful chat about missing Kunari. Some days, Hawk. The Grand Cleric, please. Tell her... Tell her it concerns the Kunari. Sarah, Hawk. Sister Patrice. Mother Patrice. Time has changed us both. 
Grand Cleric Elfina cannot grant an audience to just anyone. What do you want? A Konari delegate has disappeared. She may have ordered it. That is quite an accusation. Ridiculous, of course. She leads a great many people, but not as the commander. A Templar used her seal to convince others the act was righteous. A pause that says you knew. But does her grace? The Grand Cleric trusts her stewards to enact the wishes of the Maker. I doubt she would approve, and she will hear of it. Stubborn. All right, Sarah Hawk. If you won't abandon this, let me offer you something. The Templar you seek is a radical who has grown unreliable. Confronting him may do us all a favor. And he is what to you? He is my former bodyguard, Sir Von El. Assume what you wish, but I offer him to you as reconciliation. Meet me at this location. I invite you, Sarah Hawk. Come see the unrest these Kunari have inspired. Need I say I'm skeptical? It's her game for the moment. I see Torilin's back again to set up a wedding for that daughter. We're so here to I serve the maker's spring wedding. <laughs> Oh, cheer up, Blondie. You're making me cry just... Aren't you Hawk? Emmerich left not long ago. He said you'd arrange to meet tonight. There was no such arrangement. But you sent him a message. I still have it with me. I didn't send this. You didn't? Strange. That's not a good sign. Well, I don't know. Emmerich's been acting strangely for months. It's probably just a misunderstanding. Nice place for a rally. Good choice. Patrice is here somewhere. Do not fear Wonderful. They die like any other. Do not fear them. They die like any other. Like any beast, remove the fangs and it is lost. They are weak before the faithful of the Maker. The only certainty in their precious cun is death before the righteous. Blesses us. You claim a blessing when you have used the authority of the Grand Cleric so openly? You have brought wrath down upon you. You remember, Sarah Hawk? The Kunari have friends, Templar. How will you answer their allegations? You want a fight? Face someone whose weapons are not bound. Templars are cowards. They only pick on those whose lives they already hold in their hands. Righteous! Destroy them!
Time to bring this mess to the Viscount's attention. Madness! Madness! Yes, Excellency. Chantry involvement. Even if they are fringe elements. Oh, it could not be worse. The Chantry has seen the abuses the Templars get away with. Why would they not think to do the same? You killed them? All of them? This group at least is crippled. Then that at least is something. Not that it matters now. We have the delegate, but... I can't return the bodies to the Canari in this state. Sarah Hawk. You know the Irish Hawk. What should I do? Hiding this would only make it worse. It would, wouldn't it? I'm losing my sense of how to balance this nightmare. I appreciate your help in this matter. As bad as this is, it could have been much worse without you. Kirkwall owes you. I owe you. here to kill him why would anyone oh maker the murders emmerich was right he was getting too close he suspected a man named gascard dupuis did he do this i killed gascard then who sent the creature whoever did this is a dangerous apostate that meredith will want found i will see to it personally my guardsmen will find alessa the woman who was with gascard she might still be in danger. Thank you for your help in this matter. If you learn anything more, please come to me.
No, Leandra. Leandra. What's wrong, Uncle? There you are. Where's your mother? Is she feeling all right? I'm tempted to say she isn't, just to see your reaction. Your mother didn't show up for our weekly visit. Is she ill? She is here, isn't she? No, Gamlin. We haven't seen her all day. Where could she be? With her suitor, perhaps? Suitor? Leandra never mentioned a suitor. Well, those lilies arrived for her this morning. White lilies? I know something about that. Don't just leave me waiting. What is it? There's a killer in Kirkwall who sends his victims white lilies before he takes them. He's murdered several women already. No. You're wrong. Leandra is fine. Ignoring the facts doesn't change them. You don't know for sure that she's in trouble. Maybe... Maybe Leandra took another path to my house. I could have just missed her. I'm going back to Lotau. You should help Gamlin look for your mother. You might be able to track her more easily once night falls and the streets empty out. All right. The boy and I will stay here in case she returns. Ah, you've returned. A new letter on your desk awaits your attention. I told you already. I saw her. Did you see where she went? What do I get for telling you? Get lost, you little runt. I'm not giving you anything. Enough. This is about your mother. You want something? Here. What about this? Oh, that's real silver, that is. I'm your man, through and through. Tell you everything I know. That lady was here. She looked like she was going to take the bridge to Hightown. But then a man came up to her. He stumbled and fell over right at her feet like he was dead. His hands were all bloody, like he'd been in a fight. The lady shook him, and I think he said, help. She got him to his feet, and he was wobbly. Uh, it, it was funny. Anyway, they left, and that's all I saw. I'll destroy anyone who touches one hair on her head. Yes, you, you go do that. You're good at that sort of thing. The man left some blood. Where he fell over. You could follow him. Why don't you do what the boy says? I'm going to go home in case Leandra shows up. Never thought I'd say this, but Gamlin's right. My men can look for Leandra while we check the blood. Any lead helps. This blood is fresh. If we hurry, there might be a trail we can follow. There's another. More blood. I'm on the right path. Where is he taking her? There. I hope I'm not too late. There, the foundry. They must have gone inside. You've been here before, haven't you? This is where you found the human remains all those years ago. You should have known there was something else here. Mother must be here somewhere. We need to look around. There. More blood. 
blood. They are here somewhere. Looks like someone forgot to conceal the door to his hideout. This wasn't here before. Mother must be down there. With him. Mother! Alessa! this locket. It belongs to Mother. Portrait looks like Leandra, doesn't she? A shrine dedicated to a wife? A sister? I need to find her. Now! I don't think I can do that. I was wondering when you'd show up. Leandra was so sure you'd come for her. Where is she? You will never understand my purpose. Your mother was chosen because she was special. And now, she is part of something... greater. Spare me the demented rambling. Where is she? She's here. She's waiting for you. I have done the impossible. I have touched the face of the Maker and lived. Do you know what the strongest force in the universe is? 
love. I pieced her together from memory. I found her eyes, her skin, her delicate fingers. And at last, her face. Oh, this beautiful face. I searched far and wide to find you again, beloved. And no force on this earth will part us. There's nothing I can do. His magic was keeping her alive. I knew you would come. I tried to find you. Shh. Don't fret, darling. That man would have kept me trapped in here. Now, I'm free. I get to see Carver again. And your father. You'll be here alone. I'll miss you. My little boy has become so strong. I love you. You've always made me so proud. Did you find her? I'm sorry, Uncle. She's gone. You were right about the flowers and everything. I... I can't believe she's gone. I know it hurts, but Mother wouldn't want us to dwell on it. I'm not you. I can't just shove my grief into a corner and never look at it again. <laughs> Why her? Why, Leandra? The killer used Mother to magically reconstruct his dead wife. They had the same... face. What sort of nightmarish magic is that? Oh, Maker! Maybe the Templars are right. Lock the mages up. Throw away the key. Magic didn't kill Mother. A madman did. He could have just as easily killed her with a knife. You said she was used! 
This goes beyond just murder. It, it's desecration. I wish you'd never told me what that twisted son of a bitch did to her. I wish I hadn't asked. I hope you killed him. Good. I hope it hurt. I will deal with breaking the news to Bethany. You've enough on your mind. Take care, my boy. You know where to find me if you want to talk about it. I understand if you don't. Everything that's left of my life in Lothering. Excuse me, Monsieur. You got my letter. You've been gone a while. I thought you had things under control. I told you I would handle this, and I did. Now, after a year of raids on our shipments, I finally caught one of the culprits. One of our miners, Sabine, has been leaking information. Do you know him? He claims to be from your hometown in Ferelden. I would like you to get this festering saw to divulge who is behind the thefts. When you are ready, I will bring Sabine to you. Bring Sabine back to my place. Excellent idea. I will get him now. Here is the dung pile I caught leaking next week's shipment schedule. He won't tell me who he's working with. Who else has been screwing me over? Tell me, you ratting mongrel! I wish I didn't have to do this, but lives are on the line. Monsieur, please, don't hurt me! I knew you since you was young and lothering. I knew your mum's family, and your pop, Mike, you got him rest. Pathetic. I leave this bastard in your capable hands. Get me when he's ready to talk. I beg you, monsieur, don't hit me again. Us Lothering folk should stick together. Lothering's dead and burnt. You'll share the same fate if you don't start talking. Yes, monsieur. Please don't hit me. As soon as I tell Hubert what he wants to know, he'll kill me or throw me in prison. My life's not worth much but my family. I only wanted to give my wife and son a better life. 
So, you value your family's welfare over the lives of others? Shall I list the names of the wives, sons and daughters of the men killed in the attacks? Nika, what have I done? I never wanted people to get hurt. I'll tell you what I know. Hawk, this is Lily of the Coterie. Given the importance of stopping the cargo robberies, I have enlisted a consultant. Consultant? Sure. Whatever helps you sleep at night. Well, Doug, are you ready to bark now? I just want it to be over. There's an ambush. Planned tonight at Dietrich Crossing. Tonight? That leaves you barely enough time to intercept them. You had best leave immediately. We'll protect your precious shipment. But make sure you have the Coterie's payment. Want me to deal with this runt? Free of charge. I'll drop him in a ditch on our way out. Yes, take him. With my blessing. I assume my partner will not object. Sabine should pay for his crimes, but let's not sink to his level. Send him to prison. I suppose you're right. Fine. I will turn this lout over to the guard. You will rot in the dungeon for years, wishing all the while I had been kind enough to murder you. <laughs> We're wasting time. If you find naught but corpses at the ambush, it won't be my fault. We're too late for your boys, but we'll make them work. Right That was almost too easy. Wait. I recognize that lout. Who is he? He's in the coterie. One of that damned fool Brecker's men. Whoever is behind this will pay. The next idiot will think twice before crossing me. Understood. I know who to lean on to get answers. Find me in the Undercity. It is apparently not enough that the Kunari define my political life. They must also infect what I hold personal. It is my son, Seamus. The life you saved, he would now squander by converting to the Kun. He has left for the Kunari compound. Please, Sarah Hawk, convince Seamus to come home. Dragging your boy out of the compound won't help matters. I cannot leave him there. I hope you can convince the Arishot that this will only inflame the situation. He hasn't been quick to see reason to this point. It is a hope. I am still allowed that at least. Day, sir.
that anti Canari, anti Viscount, or Seamus himself not wanting to be rescued? Seamus isn't the type. All are forbidden, except you. So, hope the Arashok wasn't planning on keeping the Viscount's son. Sarah Hawk. I'm here about the Viscount's son. Are you? In four years, I have made no threat, and fanatics have lined up to hate us simply because we exist. But despite lies and fear, Ba still beg me to let them come to the Kune. They hunger for purpose. The Sun has made a choice. You will not deny him that. You're biased. You need to replace your dwindling troops. Only a fool arms a captive. Vidithari make a free and educated choice. Join or die. Lives are short compared to eternity. Death would be the obvious choice if there were any truth to your beliefs. It doesn't matter. He chose the Kune in a time of peace. His life was not at risk. He is no prisoner. He is not even here. He went to his father. Ask the Viscount why he would send you and the letter both. That seems strange. They are meeting at the Chantry. A last pointless appeal, I assume. The Viscount would involve the Chantry? No, but we know who would. Mother Patrice. A suspect in many things. If she has threatened someone under my command again, there is only one response. Don't make things worse by marching your men through the streets without cause. This is cause. This is the last insult I will suffer, Hawk. I will be watching. The Dathari are of the Kune. This offense will have an answer. one of ours. She was working for you and now she's dead. You get one chance. Did you kill her? Lily didn't die by my hand. Someone else did this. Explain yourself. Someone in your organization has been killing my men. Explain that. Can't say I didn't give you a chance. Never! <laughs> Make yourself a fucking enemy! 
seems to be unhealthy. You must be Brecker. And you're that lice-covered refugee. Hope you enjoyed saying that. Those are the last words you'll ever speak. What you have done to pounce upon the Viscount's son, a repentant convert in the Chantry itself, a crime with no excuse. Your Kunari masters will finally answer. Are you mad? Your plans have fallen to outright murder? The faithful know this has been building for a long time. Where Vonnell incited, I reminded, in sermon and prayer. When people learn of this attack, they will rise! Not zealots or the unknowing, but the true majority! You won't get the Kunari ousted. You'll get a slaughter on both sides. To die untested would be the real crime. People need the opportunity to defend faith, starting with you. Your reward in this life and next. These heretics must die. attacking the very core of the Chantry. They defile with every step. There is death in every corner, young mother. It is as you predicted, all too well. The young mother arranged all of it. Don't you spout your Kunari filth. This is a hand of the divine. I have ears, Mother Patrice. The Maker would have me use them. Sarah Hawk, is it? Viscount Dumas's son is dead. Killed here in your name. I'm sure my name won't like that. Patrice? Seamus Dumas was a Canari convert. He came here to repent and was murdered. You killed him, so no one would follow his free choice, right or wrong. It could not be allowed. How many would be tempted? As many as would want to go, I suppose. They deny the Maker. 
and you diminish him, even as you claim his side. Andraste did not volunteer for the flame. Sir Ahawk, you stand with the captain of the guard? The young mother has erred in her judgment. A court will decide her fate. The Chantry respects the law, and so must she. Grand Cleric? Grand Cleric? Protect those of the Kune. We do not abandon our own. Please, send for Viscount Dumas. My son. Murdered in the heart of the Chantry by those who held a sacred trust. What hope for this city when we fail our own so completely? This is not over, Excellency. The city needs a leader. It does. And I am no longer that person. Please. Hawk. Leave me. This won't exactly ease tensions. The Viscount's son and Canari aggression, even if justified, it won't end. Hawk, I thought this could wait, but I need to speak to you at your... Aveline? I need your help. Not like the last time. This is about the Canari and... It needs to be fixed fast. I wondered how long it would take to come to violence. No, it's not that. Not yet, anyway. A number of criminals have fled to the Canari compound. They claim to have converted to their religion. The Canari have, of course, refused to release them to the guard. I've been tasked with bringing them out. The Arishok may not like you, or anyone, but he seems to respect your ability. Will you help present this to him? I'll have your back. Don't worry. I'm very relieved to hear that. I'd wrap up any other business before we go. It's already a mess, and could get worse. And thank you, Hawk. I appreciate this. Are you sure about this? The champion was asked to go to the Canari. I suppose you think he planned the entire thing. Considering what it led to. Come on, Seeker. I'm not going to sell Hawk short, but nobody could have foreseen the way that that would go down. Or do you still think I'm lying to protect my friend? There are elements of your story that make sense. And you couldn't have known about them otherwise. Well, that's a relief. But that doesn't mean you're telling me everything. I want this story to be told. You're not the first to get it all wrong. I think I owe Hawk that much. I hope all is well. May I say again how thankful I am you've allowed Sandor to remain. He seems very happy.
Nothing to report, Captain. Good. Carry on. I found the thieves responsible for the cargo theft. I put them out of business. Excellent. With that resolved, the mine's profits will soar. For now, partner, please be sure to visit our workers occasionally. You have a knack for keeping them happy.